So today we are going to continue from where we stopped on our building a complete application uh, using Axon framework based on the CQRS pattern. And we, in the previous tutorial, which is 11, we developed or we built up this table, a HTML table that is going to display a list of products. Now this product is going to be coming from, uh, is to be sent to this page from the controller. So basically, if I go to the controller file, remember a controller file we call the home controller that helps us display the HTML page. So we have this function that says uh, uh, home and this home returns the index page okay so what we want to do at this point is to in, uh, together with returning uh, together with returning the index page we also want to send a list of products across now this list of product is going to be coming from the product controller so it could actually be coming from anywhere from the internet from a, from another server completely so we want to now use rest template to make a call to a URL and get the list of products okay and then we are going to send this product across when we are returning this page this HTML page we also want to return a list of products and the HTML page is going to capture this product here uh, as products okay so let's do that so the first thing we want to do is to wire in the rest templates which we know what, which you use because we use REST template to make REST calls. I'd like to remind you to, uh, if you are joining me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button below. Uh, in that way, you you kind of motivate me. And also, if you have any challenges, please do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment box uh, section. So I'm going to say private REST templates. Uh, REST template. All right. So using this REST template I wired in, I can now make a REST call to the endpoint and get a list of products. Now if you remember, the endpoint that gives us a list of products is in the product controller and this endpoint here slash products gives us product, uh, gives us list of products. So we are going to make a call to slash products. So basically, uh, if I go and uh, enter slash products, like products here, you have a list of products uh, we we'll have here. So any address at all online, you can make a, an, a, a REST uh, call to any REST uh, API endpoint and get a list of things. So we are assuming that we are making a call to this endpoint here to get a list of uh, products. So I've copied that address to my, to my clipboard and I'm going back to the home controller so now you need to pay attention to how it how it works. So the first thing I would like to do here is to declare a string. So I'm going to say uh, uh, product uh, string products URL equals and this is the URL I copied to my clipboard and I'm simply going to paste it right here and that is just fine. All right. So now I'm going to now make a REST call using the REST template and get a list of objects. Remember that. The list of items we are getting from the product controller is something called completable future, which actually is uh, something I don't really love, uh, love working with. So we are going to get it as a list of objects. You know that every class I inherit from the object-based class. So let's just let's just get it as a list of objects, and then we can change it to product. So I'm going to say uh, object array, not list of object, an object object array of objects. I'm retrieving objects and it's going to now be rest templates. Now the syntax is you say uh, dot get for objects, get for object and specify the URL uh, endpoint that contains this that you want to make this request from and specify the return type uh, you want. So it's, it's going to be list of objects dot class. So this is my return type. And I'm going to store this inside object. So object is now going to contain a list of items returned for me. So now I'm going to convert this list of objects to an to a list of this array list of objects to a list of objects. I'm going to say list 
uh, object. Of course, that object you already know is a pro is product. So list of object is simply list of product because products uh, actually inherit from object. Everything in Java, all classes, objects inherit from ob um, uh, comes from a base class object. So it's gonna be products equal to arrays array dot as list now array dot as list you now specify the objects so at this point we now have a list of objects i'm going to just uh, import this class as well so we now have a list of objects returned for us so the question now is how do we pass this list of objects across to the index page here how to do that is to add it to a model object so the first thing you want to do is to specify a parameter to this function to be model because we are going to model is like a vehicle that passes items from the controller to the uh, HTML page or to the template so model model just like this and I'm going to import the class so I'm going to come here and say model dot add attribute so simply add attribute uh, product so the name of the the first parameter is the name of the the is the name of the attribute that you are passing across and the second parameter is the value of the attribute so i'm passing uh products which is this product i retrieved here as as the name is going to be product now if you change this to something else maybe items that is also fine but it means that in the html page you are going to retrieve these as items but to make it simple, let's just uh, use a convention of product. So at this point, if this application runs, then the product is going to be added uh, and sent across to this index page. So I'm going to uh, save everything and let's rerun it. Let's just make sure everything is working before we continue. So let me restart this application at this point. So this challenge we have here is coming from the fact that we need a REST template bin and this uh, we need to specify that in, I like to specify it here in the in the base class so I'm going to simply say uh, I need to create a bin so I need to use a bin annotation bin and then I create a REST template bin simply a class a, a method that returns your a REST template that's all so um, it's annotated with that bin so that if it, if you, if, if you are to wire it into um, a different class then we can actually get a rest template uh, just like uh, uh, without having to keep instantiating so there is simply a, a aspect of something called uh, dependency injection so I'm going to say rest templates get rest templates we call it get rest uh, template okay so I'm simply oh all right so this is what we have so i'm simply going to return new rest template so okay so at this point it should work so i'm going to save everything and then i'm going to just relaunch this application and we should be able to see a list of products uh when this application runs
So I think everything started well. Um, let's see, yeah, Tomcat started on port 8087. So if I go back to my HTML page, uh, let me see. Um, let's get back to the HTML page. So this, we have the list of product, but now we want to view it in the HTML page. So I'm going to simply copy this and uh, paste it right here. And now we are going to visit index, index, uh, sorry, this index. All right. So now you can see a list of products uh, displayed here, but now it's not well formatted. We are going to fix this in a minute. Uh, for now, nothing happens at this point. You can see that when I clicked on that new order, you can see that uh, we have this item. You can see that ID is passed across and also the price is passed across uh, as well. So uh, this is fine. What I would like us to do next is to do a list of orders as well. But for now, let's uh, move to the next part. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also feel free to leave a comment to let me know if you do have any challenges.